Hello my dear Cancer, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between December 16 and December 31st, 2017 with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, so I used the Tarot of the Hidden Realm by Barbara Moore and illustrated by Julia Jeffrey and I will start shuffling your cards. Uh, so uh, when I open the deck here for you, we see the Strength card and the Emperor. <laughs> oh God, uh, this is uh, really good. Um, uh, some uh, someone that was commenting on the video said that you had had this strength card from the Oracle of Visions by Ciro Marchetti again and again and again, like the Oracle card that came for you. And here we see the strength uh, together with the Emperor. So um, it's something really solid here, Cancer. You have made up your mind probably about something. Uh, so I call the Divine with love and light uh, and I call the four archangels two of cups in the four corners of the world and I call the six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear cancer viewers uh, so you saw it came two, cu two of cups, uh, ace of wands, and also um, the king of wands. So it's actually, it's the Leo uh, card. And Leo had uh, a similar reading uh, when I did the their sign. And here you also have an ace of pentacles. So it seems like um, uh, there might, um, for some of you, uh, it might come in like a soulmate person if you are um, a, f a female. Um, if you are a male, <laughs> it might be you that is this soulmate person <laughs> going to come in for others because it seems like there's a male operation going on here. But it might also be that f feminine people have started to put boundaries and, and self become kind of the emperor and the king of wands uh, and deciding what's going to be in their life and, and how any kind of new start because you have the ace of pentacles and ace of wands, uh, how a new start should, should look. Uh, and also with whom. But Two of Cups is saying that love is in the air for you, Cancer. Uh, so, uh, where were I? So I want my dear, uh, I want a clear view reading for my dear uh, Cancer viewers and I want uh, my dear Cancer to have love in their lives and also to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want to, uh, you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest uh, destiny. So, my dear Cancer, second part of December 2017, what is going on for you? Okay, there we have it. So, I will just tune into your reading for a few seconds. So, my dear Cancer, this is your future, and this is your now, and this is the past. So, here with the past, we see the fortune fairy, that's um, uh, <laughs> the wheel of fortune, wheel of destiny, I was about to say. Uh, so, it might be that... Uh, you have done something, you have done an active action, like changed something. It's like we say this, that uh, a fool uh, does the same thing over and over again and accept a different result. But here you have changed something, you have done another thing and it's like you have rolled the dice, you have uh, done something that's, uh, that's truly changed, like destiny changing. And we can see here she's about to blow on that... Uh, flower and we know this flower it's um, when it's seeding it's going to spread like everywhere uh, this summer it's actually was really like blooming really intense and it was this kind of seeds everywhere in the air um, a beautiful summer morning when I'm looking at the meadows uh, to my horses so it was I truly understand and this concept of like never giving up <laughs> how nature is like never giving up uh, so you want what you want and now you have rolled the dice and you have done something thing uh, so with the fortune fairy here uh, so that is in your past it's probably in November uh, first half of um, uh, December 2017 and this is in your now the second part of December and here you have the king of cups uh, so it might be that some of you are dealing with an 
um, water sign person like this is usually Scorpio it might be you yourself cancer and it might also be Pisces uh, so some of you are dealing with water person or we saw the Emperor that's his, uh, its Aries and we saw the King of Wands that's Leo and um, probably Sagittarius is also in the mix um, for for many of you it's it's different for different people uh, who you are, you are with some okay I won't go into that but here king of cups it might talk about uh, healing events uh, because the king of cups is a man of Tao like a person you can't touch because they are healed but um, many kings in our word uh, world is like this <laughs> they are reversed because they they can't approach their superpower that is emotions so for many of you cross watchers that have a cancer that is uh, uh, totally um, ice cold and detached and lying <laughs> cheating stealing whatever um, it's because they can't connect with their superpower their emotions they have been told that emotions are bad you're not supposed to cry you're not supposed to do this and that and that and that so you're supposed to be a lot of things you're supposed to be yourself is what I'm saying but when a when a person like a king of cups uh, any sign uh, like a person is a male energy it might be your masculine side or an actual male person is not in contact with their superpower their emotions uh, and they are in kind of reverse position they can turn to drinking uh, a different substance abuse or abusing other people or uh, being sexually promiscuous uh, a lot of different things to kind of cover up for the deep hole that they feel inside but wherever you go whatever you do there you are so it doesn't matter what they try to do uh, how much they try to run away by uh, like <laughs> distracting themselves they will still find themselves every time when they lay down the head on the pillow they will find themselves in this uh, bottomless pit of despair uh, because they can't connect with their feelings uh, so their feelings are standing there guarding post like behind the door of uh, like door number one <laughs> with all the feelings and it's every time they try to open it will be overwhelming like uh, the feelings will be all over the place uh, so they are not they are trying to keep this door shut they want don't want to fall in love they don't want to have connection with anyone because if they do the door opens uh, and um, because when they open the heart they open this door uh, and it will like, like come like a tsunami wave but what we need to do in this case if we are like this and very afraid of our emotions is to just let the fucking <laughs> wave hit us sorry for the cursing is <laughs> just let it hit us you just need to stand in the waves like let them just come just let them roll over you like wave after wave after wave with immense pain that is how you heal because you listen to all the the things that you have disregarded since you were two years old and you fall and you scraped your knees and someone said well uh, be a good girl be a good boy and don't cry up rise and shine and uh, add it again and and you were taught to not listen to your emotions and you shut the door more and more but they're still there um, but you won't remember what it is about anymore um, you won't remember you will just feel the pain of it uh, so, but it's, it's calibration, just, just letting this um, come over you and just uh, uh, feel it and be with it. And eventually, one year from now, <laughs> two years from now, you will have listened to all the messages that you previous were, uh, were avoiding. And then you will have been done and your system is calibrated and you will now be like a Buddha, almost like an enlightened person. Very mindful, knowing, having like the eye, uh, of wisdom inside <laughs> I, your eye one of your eyes in the wisdom well like Odin has sacrificed one eye uh, to the wisdom well and this is the wisdom well it's kind of the ace of cups but king of cups equally um, having the eye down there always knowing what's going on inside how you're reacting to what people say how you're reacting to uh, to what they do and always being able to uh, communicate yourself I feel I want I need I don't want I don't need uh, so from a you perspective you can't tell an, any for any other person like I want you to love me well that's not possible <laughs> so you can't force force your feelings upon someone else but you can tell how you feel and then see it's like rolling the dice uh, okay, uh, it was a lecture about that, but 
I feel that for many, I have seen many commenting about cancer being narcissistic freaks, but it's, um, I have never met one. I have only met very wonderful Cancerians and my first boyfriend and my daughter is uh, Cancerians. It's the most loving people I have ever met on this earth. They are Oh, so amazing. It's, they are totally better than me in every <laughs> every single way. And um, but I understand that this is a problem. So I am. It's what's coming like this is the why you have a problem with cancer people is because they have shut off their superpower. OK, and here you have the future. So it's going into January and here you have the world. So it seems like cancer are closing a cycle. It's like you are. Yes, it's the it's the new year. So you are closing a cycle. Something new will begin. So you're closing the chapter to 2017, uh, the end of uh, illusions and great revelations. You have now a you have got it. You understand it now. You can see people clearly. Uh, you don't live in a land of illusions anymore where you hope things will be like this. You accept reality for what it is and you take uh, like um, conscious action, uh, not hoping for the best, but actually, OK, um, this person doesn't love me, so I leave them period okay it's like, like this so uh, 2018 uh, seems to be like a total new cycle for you uh, you're building on something that's it seems great it's like you are on your highest path towards your highest destiny uh, so okay uh, first card for you uh, from the past uh, cancer is five of pentacles so five of pentacles is probably the trigger to why you have done all this great work with yourself. You felt left out in the cold. You didn't feel loved. You didn't feel appreciated. And you start to figure out what was going on. Why am I always feeling like this? Why is it always ending like this with me feeling left out in the cold? What's the problem? Uh, I want to say this F word all the time. So I guess it's um, I have some energy here with me that's a little bit like that. Um, okay, and here we have also the Knight of Cups. Uh, so uh, the Knight of Cups, uh, this doesn't have to be you, Cancer. For many of you Cancers, this will be like, mm, what did we have here? We have the Fortune Fairy. You have done some kind of action. And with the Emperor we saw uh, in the beginning, <laughs> I think that you might have put up a boundary towards someone. And, and you made them feel like they have made you feel I have seen your readings uh, for like one and a half year now uh, and you have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for someone to open up to you and probably they never did and you kind of just accepted and you moved on with the 10, the wheel, you moved on, you rolled the dice, you said, okay, I, I'm seeing the reality, I'm acting upon the reality and, and you might have left someone else out in the cold and now they kind of have to feel how you have been feeling. And this goes for your cross watchers too, um, um, for a cancer person that has been like you describe them, uh, that this might be uh, your cancer person. But most cancers are uh, very like working with themselves. It's always like this with any sign that um, you. I do these readings for the people that listens. So it's for your cross watchers too, because it's like you're all in the same boat, both cancers being in this boat, having done this and you being with cancers that have done this to you. It's like Jin and Jang, two, p two sides of the coin. Uh, so um, it's not OK, I think, to say like cancers are bad, Capricorn are bad, Gemini are bad. What I always hear, uh, because it's not like that. Uh, there's a lot of people uh, like the majority of people are nice they're trying to do their best uh, but there's a little like a little <laughs> percentage that's sent here to make us wake up <laughs> and they do it in very blunt ways uh, okay so this is the one that were probably sent to wake you up but now uh, they they have been shaken and wakened by your actions and and reaction or counter reaction to their maybe indecisiveness what we have seen uh, so it seems like uh, in the past might have been that someone 
uh, came for you and, and try to make this gap go away in some way. The Knight of Cups is an offer of love, uh, offer of um, love to someone. It might be you, Cancer, also have feeling left out in the cold, still hoping for love in some way. But what I've seen with the other energy, I don't think you are so hopeful anymore for... Uh, this particular relationship you're more hopeful for yourself you have seen the light kind of you have seen uh, that this is going to be great I'm I'm standing on my own two feet now and uh, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to take uh, any more of this being left out in the cold uh, so I think that's a person or a uh, situation it might doesn't have to be a, in a love relationship even though this is a love reading it might be um, since um, you often have the same pattern in all your different relationships it might be a work related situation or family related situation where uh, you didn't feel appreciated and you told people uh, you sh change your ways and now uh, they are coming to you because you have made them feel left out in the cold uh, and here we have the star card. So star card is apologies and it's like um, trying to heal something, trying to make something work. It's feeling like you are meant to be together. Um, it might be that it's someone that you have a, had a soul contract with uh, because your worst um, nightmare people in your life is often those that always also have learn, teach you the most about uh, who you are and they have like um, <laughs> uh, they have challenged all your uh, blockages until uh, the water is starting to run freely there again because um, they put up a mirror to you and okay is this how you want to be treated really uh, but here it seems like there has been some disruption uh, someone has feel left out in the cold it might be also um, financial issues like having a really bad self-esteem but here it's like hope is building up anyway and and someone wants to uh, to heal something uh, so it might be it's very loving card there so it doesn't feel like a single situation where you accept that you are being left out in the cold and you go by by your own road and try to heal it doesn't look like that it still feels like there's some kind that some kind of loving connection going on uh, okay uh, so this is in the now and uh, the now is the second part of december so it's around the Chris time of christmas and it's midst of this mercury retrograde that we are going in uh, to like going deeper into your communication saying the real truth uh, okay, and here you have Life Renewed. Uh, life Renewed is um, uh, number 20, it's the Judgment Day. Uh, so uh, it feels like someone is coming back, someone that you might have left out in the cold. Maybe are coming back, maybe they have realized something, maybe they have seen the light. Um, uh, wants to reveal uh, how they really felt about you. Uh, um, so it's um, it's almost like you have put an ultimatum towards a person and and um, it worked okay they come back and they reveal things for you and um, probably wants to revive uh, the relationship or the situation so in a um, in love relationship it will be that they uh, come back and and try to reconnect or try to uh, try to move the relationship along or try to heal your differences or um, try to say that they're sorry and if it's a work related situation it might be your boss maybe calling and say well we need you here at work so um, can you please uh, <laughs> don't uh, search for another job we will raise your salary because here you didn't get enough paid it was like you didn't get what you were worth uh, and here, really central, we have a page of wands. So it seems like uh, a person will reach out to you with love. And it's, um, I'm feeling that they are, um, they're a little bit like jumpy. Uh, but the page of wands is a really good card. It's like the soul's longing. The soul is longing for something. They, uh, you are here for a reason. So your soul is longing for something that might seem crazy, like this can never happen. And and, and I bet I don't believe in miracles, but this entity believes in miracles and uh, kind of can go against any kind of option to get what they want. And I think this cancer is what you have wanted from your loved one. You have wanted them to uh, wants to fight for you, uh, wants to show you that you were really worth something uh, 
probably it has been like this that you have tried to be someone that you were not. You have tried to be really nice, tried to be very like easy persuade, <laughs> easy going kind of character uh, and not putting up so many demands for how you want to be treated and things like this. And this is like uh, very, uh, it's, <laughs> it's kind of the map for what to do if you want to make people take you for granted. It's really the truth. It's people that put boundaries and tell uh, how this I feel, this I don't feel, this I want, this I don't want. People like that is getting much more respect than the person that says, well, we, we can do whatever you want. It's a nice way to be with your best friend, <laughs> to be in this energy. But you are, if you are with a person that always uses and abuses you and, <laughs> you know, it's not a good way to be. And even with your best friend, you need to be able to have boundaries like, no, I'm too tired this weekend or um, that's not a good option for me uh, because you don't want to uh, have this eruption of uh, um, not being authentic with your uh, with your closest friends. Okay, so page of wands it seems like a message uh, and it's a message from someone feeling left out in the cold, someone having this loving vibration, someone wants to, uh, you know, open up an old chapter and see if you can make something um, happen out of it. And it's also judgment. It's not always just this. It's also a person growing. You know, you, this is judgment day. It's like when you have died and you <laughs> you stand in front of the, uh, you know, the divine and you're going and they're showing you a review of your whole life and you're feeling like a little bit shamed and a little bit proud uh, and a little bit like nostalgia and tears and laughter and everything. And some things you, when you see your life pass review like this, you will see, okay, I could have done those things better uh, I, I, next time. Okay, then I will try and I will do it better. And this is the kind of energy that the judgment comes with. Uh, and it's like also uh, acknowledging the self. Um, like, okay, if I, have, if I would have been more myself, if I have trusted my own instincts, uh, if I would have... Um, manage being brave enough to show my vulnerability that I really wanted to be with this person. Those kinds of things is what you're getting out of this card. Uh, like people ha seeing things from above and, and seeing what really needs uh, to be fixed to make this work. Uh, so it's a rather mature energy, but it's uh, yet l very innocent. It's like, okay, f seeing this and taking the first step towards change. Uh, and here we have the Six of Swords and it comes underneath the Star card. Uh, so with here, the Star card and Six of Swords, uh, I'm feeling that this is the majority of um, you Cancer's energy. And here is actually coming in this a little bit, this alone energy that you are trying to make, not trying, you are actually being very supported on your own. And uh, you are... Um, you're actually trying to go get over a situation with with probably this person. You're trying to move on from them and and seeing uh, like how you can how can your life be without them. Uh, it's like you have learned your lesson with them and you have taken in this shadow that was uh, you probably learned to put more boundaries, which they were probably all about like boundaries, boundaries, boundaries everywhere. So you wouldn't even be able to breathe along <laughs> with them because they smothered you with no, I can't do no, I don't want to. Uh, and you felt like really left out in the cold. And that's probably why you turned away. Uh, this is what I've seen in your story, Cancer. And now it's like, uh, I'm feeling that you're trusting yourself now and the divine. And wherever this road is going to take, you are going to walk on it. And it, you don't necessarily need this relationship anymore. This is what I feel. You might be a little bit like nostalgic about it, but I think you you breathe like a new air. You, It's like a fresh wind coming to your face. And um, there's change in the air with this butterfly. Uh, so I think that you feel it's like you're also flickering a little bit. Sometimes you just want this person back and you want exactly this, what they want. But for some of you, you're also feeling like they could be like you could be worth something much more miraculous, something much more beautiful, something much more like that's vibrating with a much more higher frequency that's matching your own frequency much better. Uh, so I think you're going to be put before a choice here 
uh, cancer eventually that you will have to choose between this person coming back and offering saying that okay I will change for you I will work together with you we'll be like one <laughs> and this new like you feel this new uh, excitement for something that you you can just feel it in the air it's like a spring is uh, almost coming and it's coming with something totally new and fresh uh, so it's a little bit singles energy with you if this is you cancer uh, for some of you it will be like this you will try to reach out for a person that actually have started to heal from your relationship so for other of you it will be like this uh, so i will turn this when we are ready this was uh, the uh, fortune fairy you can see it's like someone has prayed for miracles and now wants miracles to happen and it's almost on the doorstep these miracles like what you what you have prayed for the last uh, <laughs> two years or so or more uh, uh, is about to happen and now it might be that you don't want it anymore and here you had the king of cups so it might be that you have healed so before you might have been triggered by this person you were maybe addicted to this person and the way that they hurt you and now uh, since you are healed here you're healed uh, or you're starting to heal, uh, it's, like, um, um, it's like you're rolling down the stream of healing and it, you're soon going to end up in the big ocean of being healed, like this King of Cups. Uh, so it might mean that you don't, you don't fancy them anymore because before you were attracted to them because they could hurt you in the exact uh, same way that you've always been hurt. And now if you're healed, uh, you have no wound that can make you being attracted by this person anymore uh, so for some of you it will be like this that the attraction will fade and you will start to see them for how they really are and suddenly they will not look as attractive as they did before but I think that they still want you and as I said it can be the other way around that someone that you have been with is now healing from this and uh, they don't need this drama anymore and uh, they are moving on uh, because they feel that they are worth something better, something that's more harmonious. And you're supposed to quarrel, quarrel, <laughs> quarrel. You're supposed to quarrel like this because this is how you learn. Um, but you're supposed to do it in a way that you want to grow, not that uh, I want to win and the other needs to change. It needs to be like both people needs to sh change, both people needs to grow. And if you quarrel like that, uh, you will grow. Uh, and it's the alchemist card. Uh, the temperance card, uh, like expanding your own awareness because you are learning to see things from another person's point of view. Uh, but if only one do this work, I think this is what have made this situation uh, being here right now where we stand and we don't know really where we, where this will end up because um, in the past someone uh, was doing all the work and changing, changing, changing and the other one they didn't do this uh, but now they are ready to do this and it might be that you are ready to move on uh, so <laughs> and here uh, in the future for you uh, cancer we have the ace of cups and this came also for leo but it came central uh, in the reading uh, this ace of cups so it's a new beginning uh, within love and it comes from uh, the judgment and this five of pentacles so i'm feeling another thing here also I feel like a little sense of not bitterness, but it's like uh, you don't want to go back uh, into a situation which you have already judged as a failure. Like, well, they didn't love you enough. It's like you have decided they didn't love, they didn't love me. They never loved me. <laughs> they didn't. And now you want something new. Uh, you don't want to be fooled again you don't want to get, go into the same dance with this person again it's like you're tired of it like your biggest uh, dream is now at your feet uh, and it feels like you have gotten enough like you're full of it you don't want it anymore you kind of want it um you kind of long for it but it's um uh it's like on it's like you are on the fence so some of you cancers might go back and you know try again uh, in a in a marriage or uh, in a um, love relationship or family relationship or with work or you need to apply it on your own life but some of you want this fresh morning breeze like something totally new sticking up its head from the water and you just see it and that's the one 
uh, and it's page of wands here, pure fire, pure water, and a star card. Uh, so you are very divinely guided. So it will be like different things for different people. And it's your free will that will decide. It's like the divine says, your wish is my command. So if you want someone new, start to pray for that someone new <laughs> and get rid of the old thing here with the six of swords. And if you want that, uh, that old thing, uh, pray for them that they will be able to make it this time. They will be able to grow together with you. Pray for them, like have hope for the, them also. Hope, hope here, okay? The next uh, card here is Three of Swords. Uh, so Three of Swords goes back to this Knight of Cups, Page of Wands kind of thing, this uh, offer of love that's coming through. And it's, um, it's this is what you fear, that it will be like uh, what it has always been, like it's the torn, the torns of the roses. Torn in my side. <laughs> that's all you ever were. Um, yes, that song, uh, Cancer, uh, is for you. You can check it out. I don't, I uh, never ever remember. I can sing the whole thing for you, but I have the most terrible uh, voice, so I won't do it. But I usually remember all the songs, words by word, but I never remember the the person that did it or the title of the song if it hasn't been like on my top one or my playlist like the my best song ever then I will remember it but um torn in my side yes so this I feel this uh, the sadness that comes with this um so before this sadness uh, was kind of combined with a loving feeling for you. When you felt this sadness, you felt, oh, that's the one. Oh, that's, that's my love because this is how you have been taught love. That how love should feel like it should feel like a thorn in my uh, side, a thorn in my heart more. So when you feel this sting in your heart, then you think, oh, I'm so in love. But it might be that you're just, it's like your inner child wanted to play car accident again and again and again and again until you have healed from it, until it didn't bother you anymore that this person did this towards you uh, because you didn't take it personal anymore. You stopped trying to control situations. You were just becoming more and more Buddha-like, more and more enlightened and just deciding that whatever happens is happening for a reason and I'm seeing clearly I'm not going to like uh, be fooled by any situation just because I want something uh, so I'm thinking that uh, that this is what you have done you have been playing car accident again and again so you're kind of being with uh, like really stupid people that have hurt you in the most uh, like fabulous way that have really tried <laughs> they have really find like amazing ways to hurt you like it's like they had some kind of master plan <laughs> that uh, they act upon but really it didn't it weren't like this like also people like with narcissistic tendencies they have this kind of trauma too and that's why you met because your wounds uh, your demons were playing so well together and this demon dance made you attracted by them and this demon dance is probably what's still attracted like attracting this person towards you uh, because now uh, they probably want you to do the, them the same courtesy as you they did you uh, like being the um uh, the one that they can't really have <laughs> being the one like everything that they did for you is what they need you to do for them so it might be that a table is kind of turning with the fortune fair it's like revolution things that were up is now down and the things that were down were now up so it might be that this person is now hurting like you were hurting and um, you can help them to wake up by starting to be your authentic self uh, by being like the person that you are uh, for real uh, inside of you. Um, so f some of you will, will choose this road and, and do them the same courtesy and give them time. Uh, and like mm, now you will teach them. It's like the, uns the, the spoiled one is getting unspoiled. Um, there's pr usually no cure for uh, like you can't cure a narcissist they can only cure themselves uh, they need to go to like immense therapy to uh, to uh, learn to heal them themselves and usually they don't feel that they have a problem but this person kind of acknowledged that they have a problem because you don't love them anymore uh, so uh, they want to change for you but um, they want to change for this kind of um, 
uh, <laughs> energy, like this big um, mother kind of icon, but a strict mother. Okay. So even if you're a masculine person and you're dealing with a feminine person that has been like this, you need to be like the strict mother, the one that says no. And yes, okay, that's good. No, you can't do that. Or no. And like pulling back also the dance, like every time they start their old behavior, you're pulling back and you don't want anything to do with them. Or you're telling them like, I want, and it's also important to tell them so they know what they are doing wrong. So it can be a teaching situation for many of you that's very patient but for other of you, you will probably feel like, no, this is the old pain. I feel it. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be hurt like this anymore. And I don't want to be in any... Three, three of swords can sometimes also be betrayal, like third party relationships. And six of swords is like, I've seen it now. I, I understand it now. Um, so for many cancers, I think this gray area here is your energy. Like you have given up on this dream. Uh, because you have seen the reality and the reality might not be like what you wanted it to be but it is what it is you just accept accept it and that when the acceptance comes that is when you can like shift your reality and invite totally new things because when you don't pick up put on the pink glasses and uh, kind of um, um, try to endure things that you actually don't endure or try to bend yourself over backwards to fit someone else uh, here you won't do that anymore and that will actually make you a match with like a person that you really fits with like instead of this you know this match that I've been up till now like you don't you need someone that you match up with like this uh, instead of everything being like they are always like <laughs> on the other end of the rope <laughs> miles apart you need like a healthy relationship this kind of relationship that you have been in you have always been like individuals and now you need to find a relationship where you can be like this you're sharing like a common uh, platform uh, and you're always uh, you're having each other's backs and you're not enemies like you're not in the war the war between the sexes <laughs> you're not in that or the war between lovers you're not in that kind of war you are in unity you're you understand each other you try to have each other's backs Mm. Uh, and I think this is what you long for, Cancer. And here we have the Seven of Swords. Uh, so the Seven of Swords is um, often kind of deception and a person that is, um, they have too bad a self-esteem to actually be able to, to do the work or to, uh, you know, really clearly communicate themselves because they think that every word they say will be used against them. Uh, so this energy that comes back, uh, they might really want the same thing that they wanted before. Uh, so it's going to like start nice, but they end up trying to escape the teaching. And then you need to, you know, <laughs> that's not going to work with you this time. So that is one scenario I'm seeing for you that take this person back. Every time they try to escape, they try to, you know, not do the work. They try to go back in the back uh, old habits and becoming lazy and, you know, letting you do the work and all this, then it's not going to work with you. You are going to feel it instantly and you're going to have a counter reaction and saying, I see what you're doing. You're trying to do this. It's not going to work with me. I'm not going to have it. Call me when you're like, uh, when you <laughs> are on track and see if I'm still available. It doesn't have to be that blunt, but I'm, I'm like, it can be like just you're saying to a person over the dinner ta table that, uh, that it's not going to roll with me, okay? I'm not taking it. Um, the other side I see is the more positive side of the Seven of Swords. Yeah, you had a star card. You are being divinely guided. You have do some self-realization, um, both about the inside of you, but also about your outside situation. You have integrated with uh, <laughs> your shadow side. You have seen the light, <laughs> okay? And here you have the Seven of Swords. So that is actually taking the teaching of the situation and walking away. I think many of you have had already this experience in other relationships uh, that you 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 felt the world about this person like they were your everything, 
and things just fell apart and eventually you healed and you moved on and when you looked back you see that they taught you uh, like these wonderful wonderful things like if you have never met this person that was uh, like this torn in your side you would have never learned these kind of things that you did but you're so glad that you walked away so this is also with the seven of swords someone that takes the knowledge of the situation and okay i get it and then they walk away to new green pastures okay taking the knowledge with you uh, like rising a level in your conscious like with this fortune fairy the wheels like every going spiral you're now next spiral uh, so you're done for some of you it will be like that and for other it will be like for some of you you will be done the world card is ending of great cycles and you will take the teaching with you when you go into your next cycle but for some of you uh, you will do the other side the courtesy to uh, you know slap them on the fingers every time they do <laughs> the wrong thing until they also learn by like a lot of pain probably okay uh, so I will take some cards for you from the Oracle of Visions as well. So Cancer, you better not, <laughs> you better not have this card again. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, yeah, you know what I've said before that you have been very strong, Cancer, because you have had your emotional platform and and you have been friends with your emotions and being able to go to the depths and be very vulnerable and tell people exactly how you feel about them how much you love them and everything and doing everything in your power to make this work uh, so that you know that you have been able to do that but now and you have been very like cautious with people because you have felt that they were fragile and they were not able to uh, to face their feelings and you have pampered them a little bit and you know hold them like this and now it's time for this person to to grow up so either you will be you will throw them off and you will be their teacher or you will throw them out altogether uh, so um I need to change Oracle deck so you will see another picture. Uh, vibrational energy Oracle cards with Debbie A. Anderson. Uh, okay, um, reprogram and two faces of mankind. Uh, so as I said, I think you have integrated your shadow now. Uh, so you actually don't need to mirror yourself in this person anymore. And you might be able to totally reprogram here. Uh, so I will actually read this for you, uh, because I like the, I like, uh, I like the, <laughs> the, the text uh, to these cards. Old patterns, old ways. These traits no longer serve you, and you know it. Now is the time to tear up the blueprint and reconfigure it to what you now need in your life. The vibration of change is refreshing and should be embraced. Accept the exciting new programs you will write for yourself. Pull out a piece of paper and renew and rewrite your contract with yourself. So it's time to start to see a new vision like what you want after this judgment day when you have seen that, okay, you never want to be treated like this again. Uh, ever, ever again, are you going to let someone uh, put you out in the, <laughs> the cold? If they put you out in the cold, they will not find you outside the door anymore. You will be gone, okay? Uh, and uh, you have seen this from above and you're starting fresh. Uh, so, and here you have also two faces of mankind. I think it was about what I told you that there's uh, two polarities. And it's just like this can go either way because either you are one this side or you're this side. Um, when there is a feminine, there is a masculine. A negative needs a positive and vice versa. You cannot create a harmon harmonic vibration without first acknowledging and accepting the balance of yin and yang in your life. It is the law of vibration and energy which is ever evolving. Uh, so you are changing this um, like your own attraction point. Because if you are like polarity this, you will uh, attract usually polarity that. But the more whole you become, the more you will also attract a whole person. So it's, uh, it's all about your own vibration, how much work you have done to heal yourself. That will say what kind of partner you will have. But we always attract a partner that uh, holds our shadow. And if you have no shadow anymore... Uh, or just like a little, this person will also have healed themselves. Uh, so it might be that some of you will just, you know, skip this uh, old uh, school and, and step into the next one. But some of you will stay and, and try to 
uh, educate uh, this person too to uh, a lot of pain and jumping through hoops <laughs> okay so my dear cancer i hope this helped i want you to take really good care and um, uh, you're welcome back to watch um, my uh, january reading that will come in the mid-december okay bye bye